Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the monthly general reading. This is for the months of October and November 2021 for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and Cross Watchers. All right, starting off with three cards. Pisces, we have Reunion, and we have the Famous card. So Famous could be somebody who has a presence, um, maybe on social media, or somebody who is well known. So we have Reunion. Wow, look at this. Air and admirer. So this person, I'm getting Libra right now with famous and air. So for some of you involved with Libra, um, that's just a message that I'm getting for somebody here. So we have this admirer card. So yeah, somebody, air, somebody who maybe is in like communications or has, again, like a social media presence somebody who puts themselves out there, podcast, whatever it might be. So we have this admire energy. Okay, reunion, very beautiful. So before I go any further with that, I'm gonna see what else comes out here. I'm gonna pull one for the main guidance for October and November, and then three for the situation. And go ahead and check out my other uh, videos in my video tab if you're interested. I start, I'm starting to do these in two-month increments because I don't want people so focused on time frames. October, November, main guidance for Pisces, please. Wow. The Emperor and we have the Knight of Wands. Look at that. Yeah, so this person I feel like has really set themselves up. Um, maybe really big into business. Uh, really big into finances, stability. Again, I'm getting this energy with this emperor is like somebody who's either well-known or very, very established. So that's definitely a message that I'm seeing here. Um, Knight of Wands. So that is somebody who is definitely a go-getter, very passionate. Um, excuse the phone ringing in the background. Yeah, so... The Emperor. Let's see what else comes out. Um, Knight of Wands. There could be a lot of passion here. It is an energy of moving quickly. So let's see what the advice is. Three cards for the advice and situation, please. Three cards for the advice. Situation. Eight of Wands. Yeah, so more fire here. Something that happens suddenly or something that moves very quickly. All right. And two more. Wow, more fire. This is all fire so far. Four of wands. Okay, so there's the emperor, which is a four. We have the four of wands here. So this is definitely something to celebrate. So something that you have been working really hard on. Pisces, this emperor could be your energy. Take it as it resonates. If it's not somebody else, this could be your energy. And this is something you've worked very hard on. I'm seeing maybe for some of you, like, you know, the end of a tough cycle is approaching. Your hard work is paying off. Something here that you're celebrating with the Four of Wands. One more, please. Look at all this fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with fire. What else do we have, please? We do have the Aries full moon on October 20th around then. So there could be a lot of results there depending on what house the moon is falling in. Okay, so we have Queen of Cups and we have the Five of Cups. All right, so Five of Cups. I feel like there's definitely been a struggle here and this is emotionally with the queen of cups five of cups so i want to clarify that energy and see what is going on here but what i am sensing is all this hard work is paying off so keep your chin up because i'm seeing big payoffs here i'm seeing things changing things shifting why is this five of cups here please and if you've been separated from somebody you know, you're still still connected energetically, but this definitely for those that this is some kind of a relationship or love matter. Five of Cups, please. Let's take a look at that. 
Okay, so yeah, King of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Somebody could be very focused on their career. Maybe they've been avoiding some emotional matters here. But what I'm seeing is this massive shift. It's like someone's been really focused on day-to-day -day routines and habits. They maybe blocked themselves off emotionally for this love matter here. For others of you, that this is solely you and what you've been working on. I'm definitely seeing, you know, try to balance out work and emotional time for yourself. If you've been working really hard towards something, but you feel like you have been losing out on like nurturing yourself, then definitely do that. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That Four of Cups is about seeking um, possibilities that make you more happy. Spiritual, emotional. All right, so I'm seeing, you know, this huge shift happening. I want to clarify this Eight of Wands. Definitely for some of you, reunion in the works here. You know, um... If you have a different moon sign or Venus, you know, check out that video, Rising especially. Okay, Nine of Swords. Somebody could have had a lot on their plate and I feel like this is about like finances, home, business, growth and stuff like that. So I feel like that's where the stress has been coming from here with this Nine of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. But I am seeing, you know, a big shift here happening. So. All right, I'm gonna move on to some Oracle cards. Guidance, please, for Pisces, October and November. All right, yeah, we have two cards here. So we have Lizard, Regeneration, I love it. Humpback Whale, we have Singer. So as a survivor, you are unparalleled. No matter what happens, you can adapt. So yeah, it's a lot about adapting, adapting to changes, sudden things, there are shifts. And I feel like these shifts are giving you an opportunity to focus on what is going to make you happily, happy, spiritually and emotionally. Embrace your transformation, put on your new cloak. You are a master of regeneration, beautiful. So then sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. We have nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal. Align with your purpose in the power in your soul. So yeah, makes a lot of sense. If you've been um, stressed out about things and how they're working, you know, Knight of Wands, they bust through barriers. A lot of inspiration. You may be feeling more energy. So even at the bottom, Elk, celebrate your accomplishments. Crowned with success, powerful forces guide you. Ability to conquer challenges is limitless. So yeah, if there are some challenges here, we have a lot of planets going direct in October. It will bring shifts and challenges. You can overcome this. I'm very much seeing that here. Nothing that you can't overcome, actually. So definitely I'm feeling you connecting more with fire and fire energy. And maybe you even want to do some kind of ritual where, you know, you connect more with fire and that element. All right, guidance please for Pisces, October and November. Devotion. Yeah, devote yourself to your goals. Devote yourself. What to whatever it is that makes you happy and that may even be yourself but devotion could definitely be a relationship here for those that have that um coming in because there is this love energy here that i am seeing so devotion be devoted be committed um devotion i can see that you know with the knight of wands they're very devoted to causes and very passionate so I do feel like there's going to be a big change in, you know, your circumstances, cycles, ending and beginning, regeneration. So really beautiful energy. All right. And I'm going to close this reading up with three love oracle cards. Guidance, please, for Pisces. Heartbroken. So we have deeply hurt self 
sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. So for some of you, there's definitely been a separation, but there is reunion here too. Yeah, see, not today, just like that Four of Cups card. You know, maybe you're trying to reach somebody, but they're not talking, but not today. So not dealing with hurt, avoiding a conversation, you know, avoiding emotions, call. They're definitely avoiding that, boundaries. All right, and one more. Sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. So yeah, if this is a love matter, I feel like this person just needs time or maybe you need time, but I'm definitely seeing a shift here. So hang in tight, um, chaser even, close, chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issues, and I'm feeling called to pull one more, or however many come out. The snake, competition, clever, malicious, the other woman, yeah. So I'm definitely feeling here that, like energetically with somebody, maybe there's been a mismatch. Someone needs growing and healing, healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction, camera, reminiscing, keepsake perception, Learn from the past, make new memories. So someone is definitely healing here. I hope that you guys enjoy this reading. Stay tuned for more readings coming up. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.